This is part 43 of Bootstrap tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the Bootstrap tooltip plugin. Creating tooltips using Bootstrap is straightforward. Let's see how to create a tooltip for a button that looks like this. Let's flip to Visual Studio. First, let's create the button element. Let's use button classes, btn and btn primary. Let's also specify title attribute. The title attribute value will be displayed as the tooltip. We also need to specify data dash toggle attribute and the value for this should be tooltip. And the text on this button is going to be button. Let's say what changes, reload this page. At this point, when I hover the mouse over this button, notice we get the standard tooltip. We want this tooltip to be styled by Bootstrap. For Bootstrap to be able to style this tooltip, we will have to opt in for that. To opt in, we'll have to write one line of jQuery code. So within our jQuery ready function, we will have to first find this button. To find this button, we can give this button an ID and use the jQuery ID selector. But I am going to use attribute value selector. Notice this button has got data dash toggle attribute and a value. So let's use attribute value selector. So within our jQuery ready function, let's use attribute value selector. So this selector is going to find this button and on this, let's call tooltip function. Let's save our changes, reload this page, and at this point, when I hover the mouse over this button, notice the tooltip is styled by Bootstrap. By default, the tooltip is placed on top of the button. We can customize the placement. The placement can be on the top, bottom, left, or right. So to customize the placement, we use data dash placement attribute. And let's say we want to place the tooltip at the bottom, so the value is going to be bottom. Let's reload this page, and at this point, when I hover the mouse over, we get the tooltip at the bottom. Now let's look at a few other options that are available to customize the behavior of the tooltip plugin. These options can be specified either by using data dash attributes or JavaScript. We have just seen how to specify placement option using data dash attribute here. Let's see how to specify this using JavaScript. So let's first remove it from the button element. So to our tooltip function, we are going to pass a JavaScript and then specify our placement option. Let's place the tooltip on the right hand side. Let's save our changes, reload this page. When we hover over this button, notice the tooltip is on the right hand side. We can also specify title in JavaScript. So let's remove this title attribute from here and specify it right here. And let's change the title to Bootstrap Tooltip from JavaScript. And let's change this equal to, to a colon. At this point, when we reload our page and when I hover over this, notice we get our updated title as the tooltip. Animation, by default, the tooltip fades in and fades out. If you don't want that animation, then set animation option to false. When we do this, the tooltip appears and disappears immediately without that fade effect. Delay, time delay for showing and hiding the tooltip. Value can be number in milliseconds or an object. Let's say, for example, we want the animation to run for 500 milliseconds. So first, let's turn on animation. And let's specify delay. So here, we are specifying the delay as 500 milliseconds. So the tooltip will take 500 milliseconds to show and 500 milliseconds to hide. Let's save our changes, reload this page. Now look at this, it's going to take 500 milliseconds to show and 500 milliseconds to hide. And we have that fade effect there. Now if you want different numbers for showing and hiding, then you can specify the value as a JavaScript object and then specify a value for show. Let's say for example, we want to show it you know, within 300 milliseconds and hide it within 500 milliseconds. So to show it, it takes 300, and to hide it, it takes 500 milliseconds. HTML specifies the HTML for the tooltip. Value can be true or false. Default is false. At the moment, we haven't specified the HTML 
option so the default is false so if we specify HTML for this title attribute let's specify an h3 element here help let's close the h3 element and then let's include a simple paragraph element here and let's say click to submit this page and let's close the paragraph so we have HTML here but we haven't turned on the HTML option so at this point when we reload this page and when I hover over this button notice the HTML is displayed as is now if you want this to properly work you will have to turn on HTML by setting HTML option to true let's reload this page and at this point when I hover over this look at that it's working as expected thank you for listening and have a great day